Fulham still running away with it over in the Championship, as of course Bournemouth continue to drop points, opening up the door for the likes of QPR. Can they make a push into the top two? We'll take a little look. Next. prediction video today we're looking forward to match day number 28 over in the championship and we'll get to that in just one second if you're new where you've been smash your subscribe button and keep banging up to all things championship related Bob and rose related Woo! football related we're gonna all here boys under one ruski that's right of course Ful fulham are seen to be on their bloody own of course however the chase for that second automatic spot is wide open of course with anybody uh, within of course uh, probably the top eight uh, i think have got a realistic shot uh, getting into that top two is still wide open of course, that means the playoff is also wide open. Okay, we'll take a look at it, all of it in a minute. Of course, big shout out to my VIPs. They're the pay a tree on. So thank you for your love. And of course, behind the scenes, I do appreciate it. But anyway, let's get into the heartbeat of it. It is the prediction zone. Uh, now, we are actually coming at you, of course, pr prior to Blackburn Rovers taking on Middlesbrough. Um, so that game is in this cluster here. Um, so I'll talk about that in a minute. So we're doing this it is early. It's 7 a.m. pretty much on a on a Monday morning. Um, we'll have a look at um, we'll look at it in a minute. Anyway, so kicking all, all the way back in a bit of a long week it was for a championship football uh in Preston North End picked up two two draw at Sheffield United meanwhile Fulham continue to do Fulham things 60 win over Birmingham Hull City of course shocked us all with a 2-0 win over Birmingham Rovers not great was it meanwhile Reading also got beaten by Luton Town 2-0 win in the end kicking her into the weekend's action of course Hull did us a massive favour Picked up a 1-0 win over Bournemouth as well. A uh, big win for them. Meanwhile, Birmingham sitting against Barnsley. was a 2-1 win for Birmingham. Barnsley are in a whole host of trouble. Uh, meanwhile, Rovers against Middlesbrough. It is to be played today. Uh, of course, I'll have a watch on for this one. So, of course, if this video goes out in time, make sure you come stop by and say uh, say hello for this watch along for Rovers up against Middlesbrough. Meanwhile, Blackpool against Millwall was a 1-0 win for Blackpool. Uh, that is correct. Uh, of course, uh, beating Millwall there. Bristol City against Cardiff was a bit of a thriller. 3-2 in the end for Bristol City. Coventry, uh, unfortunately, couldn't, couldn't uh, hold off. QPR, 2-1 win for QPR on the road. Reading against Huddersfield was the game of the day. 7-goal thriller there. 4-3 win for Huddersfield as well. And Forest picked up 2-1 over Derby County. Of course, to uh, add to their woes right now. Sheffield United also beat Luton Town 2 to win as well. Kicking off with Stoke picked up a loss, a narrow loss against Fulham 3-2 in the end. Uh, and of course, Swansea City uh, nicked a, uh, three pointers of, of a Preston. And of course, finally there, West Brom 3 wins over Posh. Goodness gracious me. A lot of games, a lot of goals, all a lot of drama as well. But what's the table look like? Well, here it is at the moment. Of course, Fulham still lead the charge with 10 points on the board. Of course, Bournemouth into second spot. They remain there with 49 points on the board as well. Rovers are still in third. Of course, the win for them today against Middlesbrough would actually push it into second of course give us a bit of hope as well with QPR breathing down the next and a game in hand as well uh, of course West Brom and Huddersfield make up the power six right now down the foot it is Barnsley Derby and Peterborough going down but you can't rule out Reading you can't rule out Cardiff at the moment I think they are all in that relegation zone a relegation fight right now of course uh, Cardiff uh, an experienced manager, Reading, a guy who's uh, on the ropes right now. Peterborough, you probably think they would go down. Uh, Derby trying to make, a, make 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 some fight out of it, but Barnsley look like they are toast already. Let's take a look at the prediction league then, shall we? For this week and this week alone, take a bow. It is Shane O'Donnell with eleven, smashed it out of the park there. Respect to you, of course, of the chasing pack picking up points. A big big shout out to the patrons there, uh, represented in all that glory. I do appreciate your loving. I really do. It does wonders for the channel, of course. Hopefully to try to get back up the the patrons. We did lose a few um, so hoping to get them numbers back up there and of course take a look at the, the prediction league for this part of the season the second half and it's Damien Evan at the moment kicking ass with 20 respect to you sir with Shepard uh, Frosty and of course Murat and, 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 and Jacob Jackson Jim Watt and of course the patrons big big shout out to you guys for your support these days that's right uh, of course let's get the, again the patrons get access to the full league they know who's actually leading 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 uh, right here right now of course I'll update the tables for this past week this uh, probably in the next two days or day or so that's the play there if you want to get involved Cutley Fortress Championship it is free good bit of fun get involved as I see who is doing well there let's take a look at of course the next round of matches now we have an extended bumper match day another whopper of course six games to be included including the Blackburn Rovers against Middlesbrough uh, of course we did do that like, covered that, that last time I'm just going to give you my prediction uh, as well it's a 2-1 win for me for Blackburn Rovers on this one to take it to the house I'm going with it going with my guts even though we got no Diaz uh, we got no Makande he's out injured so uh, it's going to be uh, bizarre where we get the goals from but I'm going to go with Rovers to nick it a 2-1 win in the end. Anyway, so let's kick off with the rest of the games that take place from, of course, uh, Tuesday onwards. Uh, I'm looking at uh, look at this Coventry against Stoke game, I think. 
I think that might be postponed, guys. I think that might be postponed. Let me have a little gander here uh, to see if things have changed since overnight. It might have might have just bloody changed overnight. Coventry up against. I know. I see. It, I see it. I see it. I don't know where the heck it is. It was originally match number twenty three. So let's uh, take a little look at match day. Uh, so let's take a look at Coventry up against Stoke City. Then uh, shall we? That's probably why. Uh, because it's Stoke. It's involved with Stoke. Okay, so to kick it all off tomorrow then, we've got a whole host of games. Let's kick it all off with, with Coventry up against Stoke City. Over the Rico Arena, finish of the 15 times 2002, six wins apiece and three draw scores. Coventry winning two and losing two of the last four, 42% form. Up against the Stoke side with the same record, winning two and losing two of the last four, 42% uh, form as well right now. Uh, last round over in Coventry was a 0 0 draw back in December, around my Boxing Day, actually. In fact, 2020 0 0 draw it was. Meanwhile, they also played at the other bet 365 way back in April, and it was a 3 2 win for, uh, sorry, yeah, April last season uh, of course it was a 3-2 win for, for Coventry that was in Stoke mind you I've uh, got basic uh, odds and tell you those in a second QPR uh, did beat Coventry last time around Stoke picked up a few two loss against Fulham as well the basic odds go in favour of Coventry are your favourites on this one Stoke are your underdogs which I think is a little bit batshit crazy I think Stoke are a better side at the moment even though Coventry uh, have been on the rise as well going to go with a 1-1 one -one draw myself on this one point split right down the middle I cannot separate two sides on this one QPR though they will take it on Swansea we'll be all Swansea on this one won't we over at uh, the Kieran Prince Foundation Stadium plays for the 20 times, 2004, seven wins apiece, six draws. QPR winning five of the bounce at the moment, 83% form, because of the Swansea side, who have won once in the past six, 25% form right now. Last time around, of course, uh, QPR picks up to no, to no loss. Swansea, the winners, last time around, the road back in Boxing Day 2020. They also played each other, of course, in Swansea uh, last season, which doesn't really count at, as well. So, uh, coming at you, QPR beat uh, Coventry last time around, Swansea picked up one over Preston on this one. Look at the odds on this one. Odds are 23 to 20, is your QPR 25, is your women that Swansea and 25 is also your draw. Draw. Going to go with a win for QPR here, even though I'm all Swansea in my heart because I want to see uh, the Swans take one off the, off the Rangers as well. Luton Town up against Bristol City, also on the 25th. That is, of course, Tuesday. Be sure to get your picks in nice and early. Play each other 16 times in 993. Seven wins for Luton Town, four wins for Bristol City, and we've got five draws. Just one defeat past six for Luton. 75% form up against the Bristol City side, winning two and losing two of the last four. 33% form right now. Last round over at Kenilworth Road was a 2-1 win back in 29th of December. Yes, it was. That was, of course, in uh, Kenilworth Road. Uh, last time around though they played each other in Bristol City this season back in September it was a, a, a draw as well uh, Luton picked up a loss against Sheffield United Bristol City picked up a 3-2 win over Cardiff last time out 4-3 on is your Luton 4-5-2 is your draw 50-4 is your way win that is Bristol City on this one going to go with Luton Town here to uh, nick a point are we yes we are going to go for three points actually Tuna win for Luton Town on this one Birmingham taking on Posh over at St Andrews of course a chance for for back to back wins potentially for Birmingham uh, played each other eight times since 1993 three wins for Birmingham two for Peter and three draws just one win and six though for Birmingham 25% Form. I'm going to say Peter side have won twice in the past five. 33% form for them right now. Last round over in uh, uh, St. Andrews was one to win for Birmingham. That's back in September 12, 2012. It's been a long, long time, nearly 10 years since they last played each other at St. Andrews. However, they also played each other at Peterborough back in the start of the season. It was a 3-0 win for Peterborough. That was, of course, match number eight. Uh, Birmingham coming in just on the back of a 2-1 over Barzi. Of course, uh, Peterborough uh, did lose to West Brom last time around. Of course, the odds on this one then, shall we? have a 2017 on is your Birmingham. 25 is your draw. 7-2 is your away win. Going to go with Birmingham here, 2-1 win for them. Three, three points in the bag and big ones as well. Forest up against Barnsley uh, of course at the City Ground. Pleasure the 32 times in 993. 12 wins for Forest, 13 wins for Barnsley and 7 draws. Three wins on the bounce though for Forest right now. 67% form up against the Barnsley side. Just one win in the past six. 33% form right now. Last round over in uh, the City Ground. It was a nil-nil draw back in around about, about, about this time last season on the 31st, 30th of January 2021. Meanwhile they also pleasure that in Barnsley way back in of course September this season. It was a 3-1 win for, for Forest on this one. Uh, in fact Forest has just won once in the past uh, five games against Barnsley goodness gracious me and that was last round Forest picking up two over Derby of course Barnsley lo lo lost to Birmingham last round look at the odds on this one we have Forest 10-7 on for the victory 30 to 5 is draw 92 is your way when that is Barnsley on this one going to go with 2 no win for Forest on this one to keep their top six dreams alive and maybe even more than that West Brom taking on of course Preston this is on Wednesday January 26th of course uh, 11, uh, played each other 18 times since the year 2000 11 wins for West Brom 5 wins for Preston and 2 draws this match over at the Hawthorns of course just one win and 6 though for West Brom 33% form because the Preston side one last four now as Ryan Lowe hits a bit of a rough patch for the first time of course last time out over at Hawthorne was a 2 to win for Preston they also played to the back of Deepdale back in September and it was a 1-1 draw back in of course uh, Preston as well uh, West Brom picked up a 3-0 win over Posh last round uh, Swansea did beat Preston last round 1-0 win as well the big odds on this 30 to 8 on is your West Brom 5-1 to one is your Preston 40 to 5 is your draw over at the Hawthorne's going to back up uh, West Brom here 2-1 win for them to take it to the house kicking on forward to the weekend's action now we're going to go with Cardiff uh, 
I believe, up against Nottingham Forest. I'm looking for it. There it is. On Sunday, January the 30th, of course, heading into February we go. Pleasure of the 28 times since 2003. 17 wins to Cardiff, 6 wins to Forest, and 5 draws. Just one win, 6th of Cardiff right now. 33 wins to Forest because the Forest side, who've won 3 in the bounce. It would be 4 in the bounce, including the win over Barnsley. Of course, last time around over in uh, Cardiff was the one to win 4 Forest. That was back in April 2021. They also played each other back in the City Ground way back in September. So 2 1 win for Cardiff as well. Last time around, uh, Cardiff picked up a 3 2 loss against Bristol City. Forest, of course, beating Derby last round, but also following up with a winner over Barnsley. I've uh, got odds on this one as well. We've got 31 to 20 is your Cardiff, 31 to 10 is your draw, 95 is your way, and that is, of course, Nottingham Forest on this one. I'm going to go with a 2 2 draw here, big point for Cardiff at home. They might even have fans back for this one, I think, as the way else rechanges their rules once again. Kicking off all though is Derby up against Bristol, uh, Birmingham City, uh, of course, over at Pride Park. Let's get into this one then. This is actually on Sunday. Uh, uh, Jamie, the 30th, please. The 33 times since 1993, 11 wins apiece and uh, 11 draws, in fact, of course. Coming out to the Derby, just one win in four for them, 58% form. Up against the Birmingham side, just one win in six for them as well. Last round at Pride Park was 2 win for Birmingham. That was, of course, in April 2021. They also played with St. Andrews way back, of course, in September this season. It was a 2 0 win for the Brum. Meanwhile, Derby did lose to Forest last round. Birmingham picked up 2 1 over Barnsley. Look at the odds on this one. We have 6 5 is your Derby, 21 10 is your draw, 5 2 is your way win. That is Birmingham City. Quite tight here. Going to go with Derby, though, to nick it 2 1 win. And again, give a massive three points in their search for survival. Kicking off what is Barnsley against Bournemouth over at Oakwell. Of course, if you need a win, you need a win now. Barnsley, get it right here, right now. Played with 11 times, 2003. 5 wins for Bournemouth, 2 for Barnsley and four draws. Just one win a six though for Barnsley right now. 33% form. I'm against the Bournemouth side picking up back to back defeats, of course. They'll also they're playing midweek. They're not playing midweek, uh, of course. Uh, coming at you though, last round over at Oakwell was a 4 0 win for Bournemouth. That was back in December 2020. They also played this season at the Vitality. It was a 3 0 win over down at Bournemouth. That was back in September. Meanwhile, Barnsley did lose to Birmingham. Of course, Bournemouth did lose to, to Hull City last time around uh, as well. Look at the odds on this one 40 to 5 is your Barnsley. Even Stevens is your Bournemouth and 23 10 is your draw. The fact that it's at Barnsley gives me a little bit of hope that there might be something other than an away win, but I am going to go with uh, Bournemouth to win here. Uh, one they win to break the hoodoo, maybe get them season back right on track, and of course, steady the ship as well. Fulham against Blackpool over at Craven Cottage. Play each other seven times, 2010, three wins to Fulham, one for Blackpool, and three draws. Of course, Fulham winning five of the bats right now, 83% form. Up against the Blackpool side, who've won a three and lost three of the last six, 50% form right now. Last round over at Craven Cottage was a 2 2 draw. That was back in uh, November 2014. Uh, Blackpool did beat Fulham way back in, of course, September, oh, uh, of course, over at Bloomfield Row. Blackpool picking up a one over Millwall last time around. Fulham picking a 3 2 win over Stoke last time around. Look at the odds on this one. We have a 3 to 1 on is your Fulham, 4 to 1 is your draw, and 8 to 1 is your long shots. That's Blackpool. And this one could go with Fulham here, 3 to win, and again, scoring a butt load of goals in the process. Middlesbrough taking on Coventry City at the Riverside, of course. Pleasure of the 22 times in 95. And then wins for Borough, 5 wins for Coventry, and 6 draws, of course. Middlesbrough winning 5 of the bouts, of course, 92% form right now. Up against the Coventry side, winning 2 and losing 2, 42% uh, for, for Coventry right now. Last time around over the Riverside was a 2 to win for Middlesbrough. That's back in October 2020. And they also put that at the Rico back in September was a 2-0 win for Coventry this time around. Most of them coming to the back of a 2-1 over Reading. Of course, playing Rovers this midweek, and I think I'm hoping they're going to lose uh, against the Coventry side, who just lost to QPR. Look at the odds on this one, then, shall we? We have 11-10 on, is your 11-10 is your Middlesbrough, 13-5 is your Coventry, 9-4 is your Jewel Burrow. Bounce back here with a 2-0 win for them over Coventry as well. Millwall taking on West Brom, of course, down at the, the Den. Uh, played each other 16 times in 10-3, 6 wins for Millwall, 5 wins for West Brom, and 5 draws. Just 1-6, though, for Millwall, 70% form right now. Up against the West Brom side, also 1 win in 6, 33% form uh, for them right now. Last time, oh, at the day, was a 3 a 2 0 win for the Baggies. That was, of course, back in February 2020. They also pitched other this season down at the Hawthorns as a draw back in September, 1 1 in the end. Millwall did lose to Blackpool last round. In fact, it's got back to back games without scoring a goal for them. Up against the West Brom side, who picked up a 3 0 win over Peterborough last round. A look at the odds on this one, then, shall we? Have Millwall 30 to 5 for the victory, 23 10 is short, and 20 to 20 is your West Brom. The only favourites on the road on this one, uh, but I think it's going to be a draw, 1 1 in the end, uh, to see how that pans out. Huddersfield taking on. Uh, Stoke, there we go, a bit of a top of the table crunch clash, let's have a look at this one then, shall we, of course Huddersfield are doing A-OK, -okay. Stoke need a response of course after that loss uh, uh, this past midweek against Fulham, let's take a look at it over at the uh, John Smith's Kirk Leeds McAlpine Stadium. Pleasure the 14 times, it's 995. Four was Huddersfield, six to Stoke, and four draws. Of course, Huddersfield unbeaten in the last six games. Of course, picking up four wins and two draws. Up because of Stokes, I won two, lost two, and the last four, uh, 42% form right now. Last round over in uh, the McAlpine Stadium was a one more draw back in January 2021. Of course, this time last season. They also played other back in September it was a two one win for Stoke as well. Huddersfield picking up a 4 3 win over Reading last round. Stoke did lose to Fulham last round, uh, but they also taking on Coventry with a pick up a point as well. Uh, basic odds 
on this one. The basic odds go in favour of Huddersfield. They are favourites on this one as the bookies anticipate a bit of a struggle this week for Stoke. But for me, I think it's going to be a 2-1 win as well for Huddersfield. Of course, they're playing really good football, uh, getting the results and being the dark horse, really. Uh, slowly but surely, sneaking up the table and you never know what's going to happen at the end of the campaign. Hull City, of course, new owners and I think possibly a new manager uh, coming at you this, this week uh, over at the... Uh, um, the the KCOM, that's right. Play each other's playing up against Swansea. Play each other 19 times, 2003. Nine wins for Hull, five wins for Swansea, and five draws. Back to back wins for Hull for the first time. Grant McCann, I believe, is no longer at the hot seat. Swansea, though, just one win of six of them, 25% form for them right now. Last round over at the KCOM was the eight goal thriller. We would like a bit of that, wouldn't we? Back in, of course, February 2020. They also played each other back at the start of the season in Swansea. It was a nil nil draw as well. In fact, three of the last four have ended up all square between these two sides. Swansea picking up a one win over Preston. Of course, Hull uh, picking up back to back clean sheets, uh, heading into back to back wins as well. Beating Bournemouth, beating Blackburn in quick success. Session. Look at the odds on this one. We have Hull 54 for the reaching 94 is your win. That is Swansea and 11 to 5 is your draw. Going to go with uh, Hull City to lose this one. Going to go with Swansea here. Uh, I think uh, changing the manager right now. I think is I think it's bad. I think it's a bad bad move here by the duos. They start off with a fantastic start with of course a fight from McKenna. And I know they want to bring the new owners in and all that, but uh, I just think it's going to have a detrimental effect on their results this time around. I think it could be the catalyst to make or break this season. So, shot at Avalante, not too sure about it myself. I'll kick it off for you, honestly. The, yeah, I know he had a, some goals. He was a goal-scoring machine back in his day. Um, but his record, I, I, I don't think he's really been tested as a manager. So this is a good opportunity for him to be testing uh, his mettle uh, in a very, very scrappy league. In, in, this, in this division, you need fighters. I think Grant McCann was a fighter. He, he, got, he clawed a uh, hole back in the first attempt. He was making a run of it this time around. So it's a, sh it's a shame that they binned him off. But um, yeah, shot at I don't think it's going to work out in the long term. Anyway, Luton Town will take on Blackburn Rovers this coming Saturday as well at Kenilworth Road. Of course, the shit house Meister Nathan Jones up against the uh, the, the the legend at the minute. Anyway, well, okay, that's, that's a bit early. But anyway, a pleasure. Six times 2007, two wins apiece and two draws. Of course, just one defeat the past six games for Luton, 75% form. Up against the Rovers side, just one one in four. Of course, will it be one in five? It could be, depending on what goes on on this uh, tonight. Uh, last round at Akinawa Road, it was a 1-1 draw. In fact, Rovers unbeaten now against Luton Town in the last three matches, picking up a win and two draws as well. We also played at Ewa Park. It was a 2-2 draw. We threw away a two-goal lead, so we owe these guys a bit of a result. Of course, Luton Town picking up a 2-0 loss against Sheffield United. Rovers picking up a 2-0 loss against Hull uh, last round. They need a response and they need a response fast. Look at the odds on this one. We have Luton Town 29 20 for the victory. 58 is your Rovers and 9-4 is your draw. We'll have extensive coverage on this one. Preview, watch along, all the works, all the gear, all the idea. And of course, we'll be watching uh, Rovers pick up a win 2-1 win over Luton Town to get themselves right on back hopefully uh, with a big, big old week for Rovers kicking off forward it is Peterborough taking on Sheffield United let's get into this one then shall we now these two sides have played each other Corner Myers 11 times 9 7 wins for Sheffield United 5 for Peterborough and 1 draw just 1 win in 4 though for Peterborough 33% uh, form I guess the Sheffield United side just 1 win in 4 also 58% form for them right now last round over in Posh it was a 1-0 win for the Blades that was back in February 20, 2017 however they also played each other that was in League 1 might I add they also played each other this season of course over at the at Bramall it was a 6-2 win for Sheffield United of course, under the previous management. Of course, West Brom picking up a 3 0 win over Posh last round. Chevy Knight picking up a 2 0 win over Luton last round. Of course, the odds on this one go in favour. Chevy United are 6 5 of the Richie 9 4 as your hosts. 5 2 is your draw. Of course, 2 0 win for Chevy United. Back to back, back to winning ways again. Uh, Chevy United will make another push for the playoffs. Preston off end up against uh, Bristol City over at Deep Down, of course. Ryan Lowe looking for a result. Uh, Played to the 25 times since 2007. 10 wins for Preston, 4 for Bristol City, and 11 draws. Uh, Preston, though, 4 defeats, four, 4 games without a win. They'll make it uh, 5 over here. Yeah, right, yep, five. They'll lose this one up against the Bristol City side. Just uh, two wins, two defeats in the past four games as well. Taking on, they'll also lose to Luton as well. Coming at you though, last round over at Deepdale. It was a two new win, sorry, one new win for Preston. That was, of course, back in December 2020. They also played each other at Thrashton Gate way back, of course, in September 2021. It was a new new draw as well. In fact, the home side hasn't won this game uh, since uh, Preston beat Bristol City back in 2018. It's been a while, guys. Uh, Preston did lose to Sheffield Swansea last time around. Uh, Bristol City picked up a 3 2 win over Cardiff last time around, officially, of course, not looking at my picks right here. Uh, coming at you there, 4 to 3 on as you press on the eye. Favorite 5 to 2 is your 50 to 4 is your way win. That is, of course, Bristol City. Good to go with a win for Preston to get back onto winning ways to keep the Ryan Low era right on track. QPR will wrap it up though. Up against Reading, of course, who are in desperate need of a result. I need them that. I need you to get cash in on your results now. Uh, Pleasure the 34 times in 96. 8 was for QPR, 13 for Reading, and 13 draws. Of course, QPR winning 5 of the bouts right now. Up against the Reading side, lost 5 of the bouts. Uh, of course, 8% form right now. Last round over at uh, at uh, Loftus Road, it was a 1 win for Reading. Uh, in fact, Reading unbeaten against uh, QPR. The last six picked up, uh, they pick up two wins and four draws as well. QPR picking up two one over Coventry last time. Reading did do a narrow loss against Huddersfield, who are bloody blazing right now. The odds though go in favour of QPR fifty eight on. 
for the victory. 3 to 1 is your draw, and 5 to 1 is your long shot. So that's of course Reading on this one. Gonna go with this. 3 2 win for QPR, but I'm hoping for a reverse fixture on that one. 3 2 win for Reading in the end. That's, of course, my take on it. And a bloody big old long matches on this one. Be sure to get your picks in, of course, using the website Cut the Fortress Championship. And hopefully, I'll see you there with your pick a bruiser very, very soon. And that, my friends, is just about it. Be sure to give the video some love and smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe. We'll be back, of course, for the next round of matches after this one, of course, which will be back end uh, probably at the start of the weekend. But until then, guys, smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, of course. Come on, Rovers. Let's get over the line with a double win. First against Borough, and then, of course, against Luton Town. But until then, dudes, we're done here.